Unlike energy that is lost as heat, the six most common elements in organic molecules, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur, are conserved in biogeochemical cycles. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Geological processes such as weathering of rocks, the erosion, and the subduction of continental plates all play a role in this recycling of matter, along with interactions among organisms and chemical processes. The way in which an element, or in some cases a compound such as water, moves between living factors, also called biotic factors, and non-living factors, also called abiotic factors, is called a biogeochemical cycle. Now that's a mouthful. This name reflects the importance of chemistry and geology as well as biology in helping us understand these cycles. So which biogeochemical cycles are key to life on Earth? Up first, water. All oxygen-dependent organisms need water to aid in the respiration process. Water also helps many organisms regulate metabolism and dissolves compounds going into and out of the body. In other words, no water equals no life. Next, you can remember the elements that have biogeochemical cycles using Shanops. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur. Put them together and you have Shanops. Carbon is found in all organic micromolecules. It's a building block of life. Carbon is so important to life because virtually all molecules in the body contain carbon. Hydrogen. It's an element which is present in all the fluids of the human body which allows the toxins and waste to be transported and eliminated. It is also a building block of water which, you know, is essential for life. Nitrogen. This is needed to build our amino acids and proteins. Oxygen. It's vital for cellular respiration. During cellular respiration, glucose reacts with oxygen, forming ATP that can be used by the cell. Phosphorus is a key component of DNA and RNA. Sulfur is key to protein structure and is released to the atmosphere by the burning of fossil fuels. Though each element or compound takes its own route, all of these key chemical nutrients cycle through the biosphere moving between the biotic or living and abiotic non-living worlds from one living organism to another thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness be kind to someone today